Thank you for joining today's webinar about the discipline of asset integrity monitoring. My name is Mike Schmidt, and I'm the Senior Director of Marketing at Enlight. I will be talking about what is asset integrity monitoring, why the discipline is needed, and how to implement it in your organization. Asset integrity monitoring is the discipline that is practiced across the entire hybrid digital infrastructure. Its ultimate goal is to reduce security and risk conditions while bolstering adherence to policies and compliance. It is about the continuous monitoring of the physical infrastructure that makes up an, an entire organization's computing infrastructure. The functions of asset integrity monitoring are establishing a baseline of all assets while monitoring and documenting changes, leveraging the monitored data to assess any risks that an asset may introduce, and developing proactive protection processes to address and maintain the integrity of the hybrid digital infrastructure. Many organizations will say, we have policies, processes, and tools to ensure security and risks are managed. The problem is that they may have multiple systems, processes, and devices across numerous teams. There are various databases and the tools that process and leverage them. There isn't any coordination between the disparate siloed systems and teams. The database information varies from each instance, inhibiting workflow processes from flowing between teams smoothly. With inconsistent data and the lack of integrated tools and processes, errors occur, causing massive inefficiencies in time and resources. These hinder an organization's ability to respond quickly and effectively to urgent needs. Even worse, these errors leave vulnerability gaps, leaving an organization open to higher risks of disruption and of data loss. The headlines are proliferated with organizations experiencing security breaches. In many of these cases, it wasn't an innocent click on a cyber link. It resulted from physical intrusion through an ill-placed device and an associated network connection. Top of mind is the attack on Target stores a few years back when a malicious attack occurred. A contractor connected a malicious device through an air conditioning systems network port. Now that's not the first place that our security teams think to go look. Asset level infrastructure vulnerabilities like this are the reason compliance regulators now include physical asset security and the data path monitoring in mandates such as PCI, HIPAA, GDPR, and the like. It is not good enough to simply monitor the software stack or the database. You must be in control of the components that touch the data flow and be able to audit their usage and access. Asset integrity monitoring isn't just about cybersecurity. It's about ensuring the continuity of business, the reliability of performance to end users, and the fiscal accountability to the shareholders. Asset integrity monitoring provides the visibility to see if physical environments operate within SLAs while providing valuable data about the viability of an asset in the infrastructures concerning cost and performance. It is also about understanding the dependencies of a workload from physical server and storage to power flow to network connections, allowing you to make decisions centered on balancing cost and performance for each workload. Earlier, I mentioned you need to establish a baseline of your digital assets, connections, and dependencies. With the vast amount of digital components, and with each device having many attributes, it's impossible to do a physical audit with any kind of frequency or accuracy to be of re any real value. The only way to address this is to automate the discovery process and continue that discovery scanning on a regular and frequent basis. Also, it is not good enough to scan the environment just for the device. You need to log all of the metadata available. Plus, this discovery software needs to be intelligent to normalize the information. In other words, take the digital gobbledygook and the vendor secret codes out of the equation to make it readable and usable to humans. 
the software needs to provide critical information like where an asset physically sits, the components inside it, what firmware and software are running on it. Not all of this data is essential to everyone. Still, collectively, this metadata will help IT teams respond to service requests sooner, improve performance, increase densities, and manage support and warranty costs. This data will also give facilities teams the ability to know what maintenance disruptions will impact devices so users can be notified and their impact mitigated. I hear all the time organizations say they have a change management process in place. But are you really fooling yourself? How accurate is your CMDP? It is not uncommon for 20% of assets in a data center to be unknown, not where they belong, or running with no purpose. People make changes all the time and with good intentions to update the change management system, and then they don't. Today, if you had to produce an audit report of every asset, its location, the applications running on it, and the recent access of who had contact with it, could you? And how long would it take? Shareholders, Regulatory officials and business teams demand accurate accountability information about the infrastructure. To accomplish this, you must automate the scanning of your network infrastructure. The software needs to identify specific asset location, understand the frequency of use, and who is accessing it. It needs to validate the decommissioning and removal of equipment and map each asset and its dependent systems. And most importantly, it needs to alert you that things have changed and something that didn't change that was supposed to, or things that changed out of compliance. The IT and security teams at target stores could have been alerted to an unauthorized network connection and save themselves a whole lot of headaches had they been doing proactive asset monitoring. Now I'll run through the steps you should go through to implement effective asset integrity monitoring. To start with, you need to establish your business, your baseline of assets, processes and changes. To, sorry, you need to establish your baseline of assets, processes and change management activities currently that your organization is using. This baseline is the foundation with which you work and move forward. Next, you begin with the proactive hardening of the power systems, because if your juice isn't flowing, neither is the data. With the power flow well understood now, you need to implement real-time asset monitoring along with the associated environment and dependencies of each asset. This data gives you the information to deploy effective contingency plans when unplanned changes to an asset occur. The final stage is proactive engagement with the asset lifecycle. This engagement comes with the implementation of machine learning. There is so much data being generated, as mentioned before, that it can be physically, can't be physically processed by humans. Machine learning and AI will identify macro and micro events and trends that provide real meaning into maintaining costs and the SLA across the entire digital infrastructure. In step one, it's about establishing a baseline of all the assets, power systems and processes across your data center and across your entire digital infrastructure. This baseline allows you to strengthen the chain of custody for all the data ass center assets. The procurement through decommissioning is monitored. Ongoing scans at the central data center at your co-location or edge facilities provide the ability to track all changes occurring at the physical level of the IT infrastructure. This baseline and subsequent scans become the foundation you will use to determine what assets are vulnerable 
and the possibility of risk and give you the ability to build workflow policies around each of these. In step two, we focus on capacity and risk management. In this step, you will locate underutilized and potentially unmanaged zombie servers. You monitor changes occurring in the power chain and from all sensor data to establish ongoing baselines that trigger alerts or workflows. These monitored changes also allow for the proactive identification of risks to the power chain or other systems, identifying power trends that could lead to outages or lack of capacity. The data will provide you with the needed information to build contingency plans and determine the appropriate personnel to address the necessary changes. Step three represents the further evolution of steps one and two. Here, you combine the data that you have collected with current environmental and physical attributes of the assets to detect real-time issues. Data tracked in this phase can include such things as firmware and board versions, what interfaces are used and available, and what is on the network and its dependencies, along with other things. This additional data can help you determine potential compatibility issues before a service, ticketing, a service ticket is being issued. You can identify unplanned devices on the network and assess their risk. Mapping of dependencies between an asset, power path, and the network connections can mitigate downtime and cascaded effects from planned and unplanned outages. Step four is about exception reporting to the change in an asset status. It is more than just logging a change to the asset database. It is about producing exception reports, setting alarms for unplanned changes, and triggering service tickets and workflows to mitigate the impact. In this phase, you now know what is in your data center, see planned and unplanned ads, moves, and removals from the network, and identify those changes if they were approved or not. Now those changes can get quickly mapped to update contingency planning and set alerts for unwanted or high-risk changes. Additionally, in this step, you can discover missing assets, those that have been intentionally removed but not adequately documented in the change management system, or those that got legs and walked away on their own. In this last step, machine learning is deployed to provide proactive management against physical infrastructure issues. Machine learning allows you to gather the massive amounts of data information across the data center and the digital infrastructure. It allows you to collect it and digest it. This unique data set will enable you to determine future state equipment, its outages, and the proactively identify and head off power issues. In the respects of corporate governments and responsibility, the data gathered by machine learning allows you to identify optimal environments for each workload, delivering the best balance between cost and performance. So to sum up asset integrity monitoring, it proactively discovers all assets across the compute infrastructure, allows you to manage current and future state power to mitigate disruptions and planned contingencies, determine if anyone is adding or moving, removing assets with or without authority or outside of the approved IT change processes, validate and reconcile all changes with expected changes in processes, Target identified assets with known software and firmware issues. Check to see if new vulnerabilities are introduced with patches and firmware updates. Identify sources introducing change and risk. Notify appropriate personnel to validate compliant changes and unauthorized introductions. Trigger workflows to address status alarms and mitigate 
non-conforming events, and to meet corporate accountability guidelines by accurately reporting inventory, risks, and vulnerabilities. Thank you for your time today. We have a rich set of resources for you on our website at www.enlight.com or feel free to reach out to us at any time at info at enlight.com.